Welcome to Flexi Dave YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well, thank you for watching. In this channel where I discuss all things about football, Chelsea news and all update about Chelsea with 100% rawness and honesty. So you know what you're getting from me. This is the place to have fun, bring positive vibes and discuss football from a new perspective. Welcome on board this journey. Chelsea are going to be dangerous in the title race, Lampard has so many, good options, says Townsend. Talk of a Premier League title challenge being pieced together at Stamford Bridge is starting to gather pace, with Andy Townsend admitting that, Chelsea are going to be dangerous. The Blues are expected to compete for the grandest prize English football has to offer every time they open a top-flight campaign. Big spending from owner Roman Abramovic has allowed those in West London to build squads down the years that have been littered with world-class talent. The checkbook was dusted off again over the summer, with Frank Lampard free to bolster his ranks from back to front. Considerable value has been found in new recruits, with the likes of Timo Werner, Thiago Silva, Hakim Ziyech and Eduard Mendy slotting seamlessly into the fold. A nine-game unbeaten run has been put together across all competitions, with a 2-0 win over Newcastle on Saturday briefly lifting Chelsea to the top of the Premier League table. Townsend expects the Blues to remain in contention throughout a 2020-21 season that is shaping up to be considerably more competitive than recent title tussles. Lampard has every reason to believe that his side can sustain a challenge, with the firepower already at their disposal set to be further bolstered over the coming weeks by returns to action from the likes of Christian Pulisic and Kai Havertz. Chelsea is going to be dangerous, former Blues midfielder Townsend told Premier League Productions. They have got so many good options in those forward positions. If you think about any team when you are struggling in the Premier League, normally when you are struggling you are thinking, we can't score a goal, we haven't got enough space in the forward areas, we haven't got enough options. Chelsea has got it everywhere, even full backs are flying into the last third. It's now just about Frank keeping them all right, keeping them happy, as best he can, and let them go and strut their stuff. They are very good. Tomorrow them play host to old adversaries Tottenham, who are now managed by former Blues boss Jose Mourinho and lead the way in the Premier League through nine games. Frank Lampard already knows how to get the better of Jose Mourinho as a manager. Just two months into his first coaching job at Derby County last season, Lampard sent his old mentor crashing out of the Carabao Cup with a third-round, penalty shootout victory over Manchester United at Old Trafford. It was a result that made the football world sit up and take notice of Lampard's early steps in management at Derby, and one that also shed light on the losing battle that Mourinho was fighting in his attempt to succeed at United. Within three months, Mourinho had been sacked at Old Trafford, but Lampard's star continued to rise. After narrowly failing to get Derby promoted to the Premier League, he was handed the challenge of managing Chelsea, the club where he earned legendary status as a player thanks largely to his feats during two title-winning spells under Mourinho. This history lesson is valid because the two men meet again on Sunday, when Tottenham travel Stamford Bridge tomorrow to face Lampard's Chelsea but their roles have been reversed, Lampard is suddenly struggling while Mourinho is rediscovering his mojo. It was a year ago this week that Mourinho lost his job as United manager, with his reputation taking a battering, in many ways, justifiably, as a result of the situation he had left behind at Old Trafford. His style of football had become negative, cautious and predictable, his players had grown tired of his repeated public criticism and, most importantly, United's results simply weren't good enough. But just a month into his reign as Spurs manager, the Mourinho swagger is back, Five wins from seven games have helped revive a Tottenham team that had, like his United team last year, lost its way under Mauricio Pochettino. Mourinho is getting results, making players better, Deli Alley, in particular, has been transformed, and he is once again looking like a manager with a future, rather than one whose best days were behind him. Equally, he will relish the opportunity to take Lampard on this weekend. Mourinho and Lampard have a lot of history at Chelsea and in last year's Carabao Cup when the latter's derby knocked the former's Man United out. But it's all about the future when they meet on Sunday. Despite a run of four defeats in seven games, his former player has exceeded expectations at Chelsea by steering them into the top four having been hunted down and beaten by Lampard at Old Trafford last season, Sunday's game is such a big one for both Lampard and Mourinho. 
On a personal level, it's a fixture that both will be desperate to win, and failure this weekend is huge for Lampard and Mourinho. If Lampard wins or avoids defeat, he will have shown the ability to steady the ship and frustrate Mourinho once again. But a Mourinho win would doubtless be exploited to the maximum by the Spurs manager what happens this weekend, between the teams and the managers, could define the rest of the season. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching.